r slash ask reddit what do you do confidently now that made you feel weird in the past asking people to pay back money they borrowed got back in my senior year of college i used to dread asking my roommates to give me the money for the bills no idea why since that's what they agreed to i just felt like such an a-hole for doing so walking down the street realizing i was going in the wrong direction and making a u-turn without pretending to have forgotten something same here my old tactic since the cell phone era began was to stop in front of some building look around like i was waiting for someone and pretend to call or text that person until i was certain that anyone who might have seen me was well out of distance before turning around going out for a meal on my own once you work at a restaurant you realize how many people come in alone it's no big deal Definitely agree with this. I waitressed at breakfast and dinner places and never judged any tables for coming in alone. Doesn't make sense I was so uncomfortable with it for so long that it's really enjoyable. Wear a mask over my face entering a bank to get the money. Me too. Now I just need to get more confident about the gun. The attention it brings is just too much for me right now. <laughs> Go out in public and be around crowds. When I first started using a wheelchair, I was hyper aware of people staring at me, avoiding getting near me, or acting strange when interacting with me. Decades of being a wheelchair user have desensitized me to all that. Hardly notice now. Thank god to hear this. Due to a procedure, I was temporarily in a wheelchair. And boy do I have even more respect for anyone on wheels. I felt like I was in the biggest fishbowl just getting groceries. I was a total pariah and stared at. And exactly the same as you said. How weird that out people got talking to me. On the flip side, everybody ran to get doors for me or carry something I was perfectly capable of carrying. So glad to hear the awkwardness goes away. Buying condoms. I remember one of the first times I bought some. My girlfriend at the time wouldn't accompany me to the register because she was embarrassed. I purchased that loan item. The guy ringing me up said have a nice day. I responded though. I will. With a wink and a smile. He got a laugh. At the end of the day. You gotta remember you're preparing to get laid. Don't be embarrassed about that. I remember being 15. Trying to buy condoms for the first time. I wasn't even sure if I legally could buy them AOC is 16 in the UK. I was still in my school uniform and everything. My friends were giggling and both trying to make me feel better and also poking a little bit of fun. But although I was embarrassed, I told myself if you're not mature enough to buy condoms, you're not mature enough to have sex and obviously, I wanted to have sex. So I forced myself to put on a brave confident face and just bought them. I went to the counter by myself. Didn't get ID'd so I assume it's not illegal to sell condoms to minors. The woman could probably see through my facade and just didn't say anything. And was totally normal. After my friends were like, OMG how did you do that? You're so brave. I couldn't do that. LOL. Saying how I feel. I'd usually bottle things up because I didn't want to upset anyone. Pee without asking. Slightly unrelated but I used to tutor kids high school and below in math. When you talk with them you realize how much your day to day as a kid in school legitimately feels like prison. You're told where to sit, what to do, where to look, where not to look, when to eat, when you can drink, and ask to pee. If you're caught losing your attention at all during that 8 hour block then someone yells at you. Then when you get home you have to do work from the rest of the day. Being an adult is rough sometimes and it's extremely difficult when you've got actual devastating problems. But for most adults it's much nicer than school was. I wouldn't trade my current life for a second. Telling people the music I like. I have a dedicated playlist of acceptable songs that I use when playing music out loud because I am terribly self-conscious of my music tastes despite it not being a big deal at all. Swim without a shirt on. My sisters made fun of how I looked without a shirt on when I was like 12 and it stuck with me for years. Just the other day I went to the beach and realized that I finally don't care anymore. I was that way too. I finally realized that there's people not wearing a shirt that are in much worse shape than me so I finally said screw it. English. I used to be terrible and my accent still sucks sometimes. But after more than 20 years of practice and a bachelor degree from an English university, now I'm quite proud to be bilingual. 
Stay calm around women I find attractive. I used to get anxious and even avoid. Ironically this became way easier for me once I got married. I don't plan on cheating on my wife and so when I talk to any woman now there's no sexual tension at least from my end. I just talk like I would anyone else. It's really freeing. Not really as the present. Not since February, but going to the cinema alone. First time I ever did. Back in 2016 it felt weird tbh. Even had a mother ask me if I was waiting for anyone when I saw Kong. Skull Island. But now I actually prefer it most times. It means I don't have to worry about scheduling with a friend on what day's best. Don't get me wrong. I have still gone with friends but 90-95% of the time I go alone. I can do whatever I want before or afterwards. Whether to look around the shops or just go straight home. I heard going to the movies alone is an experience everyone should have. I can't wait until things start opening up more so I can give it a try. So many things. Getting older and caring less about what people who don't matter to me think of me has been extremely liberating. I've also learned that most people aren't actually paying attention when you do something stupid or embarrassing. People are usually off in their own little worlds. I was a very self-conscious and eccentric child. But adult me has fully embraced my weird side. And it's wonderful. I am who I am meant to be. And I'm surrounded by amazing people. Say no. A lot of people struggle with saying no. I used to struggle with it as well. I got a lot of advice to be unapologetic. You don't owe anyone anything. You don't have to give a reason to say number. That is stupid advice. That is obviously going to harm your relationships. Instead I realize that most people are reasonable. I present my case in a way that the other person can understand and explain why I need to say no. Almost everyone understands and does not want to put you in a difficult situation. If the other person is not reasonable, there is no point explaining further. Then you just gotta say no. But you need to try to explain first. I'm the fat girl in the gym. For my entire adulthood. I would hold back my workouts, for fear of jiggling, sweat, boobs bouncing, heavy breathing. I get red in the face with any exertion. Finally, I got some quality clothes that fit properly, really good bras that keep the girls in check, and now I'm really proud of how hard I work. I sweat through my clothes every workout, my hair gets soaked, I love leaving drips underneath my heavy bag. Now my coaches use me as an example of what to do if you want higher intensity in the exercise we are doing. I love it. Only 2 more hours until class starts. I used to be super self conscious going to the gym. I'd always be the smallest guy there surrounded by a bunch of juiced out meatheads. They're putting up multiple 45 pounds plates while I'm struggling with 25 pounds. Eventually I realized those meatheads actually encourage you for being there and they had to start somewhere too. And chances are if you need some advice on something, they're more than willing to help. Going out not caring what I look like what I'm wearing. Call other adults for adult reasons. Okay not super confidently but much more so. I 100% thought that by adult reasons you were referring to booty calls and not grown up responsibilities. Unwrapping a tampon in a public bathroom. LOL. The differences in experiences here are great. I definitely used to pretend I was unwrapping a tampon so it didn't sound like I was just waiting for the other person to leave so I could poop. Paint drawer and then share it with strangers. I did not grow up with art and had absolutely no confidence in attempting it. During our quarantine this spring, I taught myself how to watercolor and draw birds and am now selling prints and stickers and donating 100% of the profits to bird conservation groups. I just love birds. Go out without makeup. I wore makeup once for a school play. I'm a guy, and I looked so good I kinda want to wear some everyday. Eating alone in restaurants at least before covid. I used to be self conscious about it, but now I don't give it a second thought. Life is too short to not have the meal you want particularly if it's going to perk up your mood, on account of worrying about what the people around you might think. Enjoy yourself and what you do. Barking at men cat calling me. Farting in front of my so. Had an ex who was not so nice about it. Breaking the fart barrier is a necessity in my opinion. Embrace the power of the pause. When asking someone a question, 
Allow the silent pause after the question to build tension that compels them to answer. The longer the silence, the more compelling the tension the more effective to get someone talking. Talking on the phone. I was crippling shy as a teenager, to the point I'd have to script what I was going to say before doing something like phoning for an appointment. Then age 21 I got a job in a call center and nowadays I can phone anyone with ease, though I'd never say it's my favorite thing. I'll even complain about shoddy customer service on the phone now. Flood therapy works. Wearing pink and purple as a male. I always felt weird about it until my wife finally convinced me to get shirts for work in those colors. Now they are basically all I wear. I get a lot of compliments and I feel great in it. Asking for help. I've gone through more trouble and passed up more opportunities than I'd like to admit because I was afraid of asking for someone to help me. Needing help doesn't mean you're weak. And accepting help doesn't mean pity. Dance. Whenever the opportunity arose through puberty and early adult life, I'd just be standing in the corner, too shy to do anything and caring a lot about how I looked to people, sidestepping shyly if I felt forced, to the point of getting nervous about the fact that I wasn't doing anything. Then, one weekend at a music festival, something clicked that felt completely out of the blue and I started flailing my arms around and making the dumbest moves to the sound of the music and I had the best time in my life. If there is a party, I'm dancing, all night, with everyone and anyone, and it looks like shit but I'll be damned if my white ass isn't having the best time. Telling the truth. I used to be so terrified of disappointing people that I would lie to keep them happy. They say the truth will set you free. That's true. It'll also make some people not like you. But that's okay. Driving. Still cautious and safe but less terrified of making mistakes and freaking out. That and driving any new cars. If someone asked me to drive a truck so at age 18 I would have said no way but now I have a little experience and wouldn't think anything if someone asked me to now. Singing out loud. Ever since I started singing for my kids I realized it doesn't matter what you sound like as long as you're enjoying yourself. Not living my life to other people's opinions expectations. I go around barefoot, grow veggies and finally have chickens. Life is so good not being stressed out all the time. Let go of toxic people and get a kettle. It'll change your life. Talk to executive level audiences. Always made me feel weird in the past because they were so senior to me. Now, I'm a bit older and a bit wiser. I have more experience and exposure to see sweet level folks. Most of them are really nice. Down to earth people. I also now talk to my dog in public. So take my previous statement how you'd like relative to this statement. IDGAF if you think it's weird anymore about my talking to my dog like he's a person. He understands what I'm saying most of the time. Letting my weird out. I used to try to fit in with everyone. I pretended to like sports, or shooter games or whatever the group was into and talking about. Finally I just embrace the fact that I'm just different enough from the normal crowd and I don't care. I like the obscure Japanese games people in my area haven't heard about. I like collecting cool looking bottles and glasses and pretending I'm a wizard making potions. I like listening to show tunes. I like Disney movies. I like all those girly alcoholic drinks. IDK. What seems weird to people and what I enjoy seem to line up pretty frequently. Just staring into space. Everyone was always on their phone so I felt the need to be looking at something too but now. Nap. Playing guitar in front of people. Saying I dislike football. It's like a cardinal sin in the UK. During middle school I pretended to like it to try and fit in. Picked a team Arsenal tried to watch games. Made me dislike it even more. Through secondary school and into my first job. When I said I didn't like football it was usually a cue for some form of harassment. Not a real man what are you? Gay? ETC? Now I'm happy to say it and couldn't give a toss how it's received. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.